the best way mm-hmm. to invest in the stock market is dollar cost averaging. Mm. Okay. I hear you say that a lot. So, and I learned this when I was a kid. So find a financial advisor, somebody right. that you at least trust a little bit. Best time, best thing is to get a referral from somebody mm-hmm. that some, want someone you know, trust and love will say, hey, this is my person. And what you do is you give them money every month. I don't say you give them. You have money transferred every month and they invest it. Right. Okay. They're professionals. Here's yeah. the thing. I'm not going to go to a baseball coach and ask him how to throw a football. Sure. But I'm, yeah. you're not going to you're not going to come to me as a former football coach <laughs> yeah. and ask me how to throw a curveball. Right. Absolutely. Okay? Yep. So I, I I'm going to let people do what they do best. Right. The easiest way to dollar cost average is to have the money. And there's a guy named David Bach who wrote an, uh, I can't remember his name was, but I want to say it's Automatic Millionaire. Okay. Okay. And so what he says is make the Make things automatic. Make things where they transfer. So every money, every mm-hmm. month on the third, you get an automatic transfer. It takes money from your account into a um, account where the the financial advisor will then distribute the money how they see fit right. because you trust them. If you don't want to use a financial advisor, dollar cost average in like an index fund. An yeah. index fund is where it follows the index, which the index is the S and P five hundred, the Nasdaq, something like that. Okay, yeah, it just right, follows right, that right. Th- those different mm-hmm. stocks. But the key is, is to consistently do it. Dollar cost averaging is every month. Yeah. Every month. And you don't see that money. I don't. You don't touch it. You can't touch it. Because, and it's just, all it's doing is compounding. All all it does is compound. So, so I'll, I'll buy some this month and then I'll buy some next month and I'll buy some the next month. And I just shut my eyes and let's just use the number 500. Yeah. Let's use the number 200. Right. Take the money, put it in the account. And let it buy as many shares as you can. And the next month, do it. and you make more money, you can start adding to that. But that's just dollar cost averaging is letting someone invest your money every month and let it compound and grow. Why do you think that people are so terrified of the stock market or just scared to put their money there and invest in the stock market? Most people, the reason people are scared of the stock market is most people are news watchers. Mm. And the news is a polarizing thing uh, because the news gets more eyeballs Mm -hmm. based off of negative thought, negative speak. So what Fox's job, CNN's job, Mm -hmm. whoever CNBC's job, their job is to get viewers. The more viewers, the more money they can make on advertising. So they're going to talk about peril and they're going to talk about negativity and they're going to talk about how the so-and-so bombing is going to affect the market. And so-and-so, the new president (laughs) is going to affect the market. Uh And so all you hear on TV is the negativity the of the market. And it instills fear in you. And people, when people are scared, uh-huh. they do nothing. Just want to hold it tight. Just, Just hold, hold it, hold it right. on to it tight. That's right, that's right, exactly <laughs> So give right. me an example. Uh, you talk about it all the time, dollar cost average. So give me an example of how dollar cost average has helped you. What's your story with it? Like, yep. There's gotta be a story there, there somewhere. There is, yeah. there's a great story. So when I was 18 years old, in Alabama, when you graduate from high school, girls get gifts and guys get money. You send out graduation invitations. I loved it. Oh, I loved <laughs> yes. it. Yes, you send out and graduation. Then, yeah, you spend s- it all. Just spend it all. <laughs> you spend out grad- give out graduation yeah. invitations, and when guys guys get money back, girls typically get gifts. Yeah. Sometimes money. Um, so when I graduated, I got two thousand dollars. Ooh, it's a lot of money. A lot of money for an 18 year old. A lot of money back then, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I took $1,000 and I spent it. Yeah. Okay. Then I took another $1,000 and I gave it to a guy in the church and he invested in mutual funds. Mutual funds okay. is just another way to dollar cost average. Hang and on, every, hang on. Yeah, don't, go don't glance past that. Okay. Mutual funds. Yeah. What is mutual funds? Can you give us a quick little. A mutual fund is a more conservative way to invest in the market. So you've got managed mm-hmm. funds. And then you've got mutual funds. Okay. Mutual funds are just a clear, just a, and Dave Ramsey talks about managed fund or mutual funds a lot. It's just like put your money in mutual funds because it's, yeah. it's a, it's a more conservative okay. quote unquote safer way. They gotcha. still go up and down the volatility that they go up and down is just a little bit less. That's okay. the dummy version. That's great. That's okay? great. Good. So every month, and this is when I was 18 and I go to college, I had, I gave a thousand dollars to that, to buy initial shares of a mutual fund. Mm. And then every month I dollar cost average. Wow. In college. Wow. 25 bucks a month. Okay. Okay. Where was this 25 bucks coming from? Was so I, was, it? I went to college. I was on scholarship. And so okay. I got a little check every month. And I could, I could, I could pull away 25 bucks a month. But the guy told me, he said, 
Look, he, he did this look at me in the eyes. He said, every month you need to buy more shares. I don't care if it's 25 bucks or 2,500 bucks. He said, every month, dra- have a draft. And he said, if you make more money, buy more. If you wow. make less, buy less. He said, but look at me. Every month you need to buy something. He said, because investing is a habit. Wow. 